number seven has us finding the missing sides in each of the 30, 60, 90 triangles. And again, we'll drag and drop the correct responses. Remember that in a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, everything is based on the short leg and the short leg is the leg that's across from the 30 degree angle. So here in this picture, my short leg is A. The longer leg, which is opposite the 60 degree angle, is equal to the short leg times the square root of three. And the hypotenuse that's across from the 90 degree angle is two times your short leg. So in my first triangle here, Notice how we have the 60 and the 90 marked, so this angle here must be 30 degrees. And going directly opposite that 30, we have our short leg right now is 11 over 2. So we should be able to use that short leg to find the length of the long leg and the hypotenuse. Let's start with the hypotenuse. Remember that the hypotenuse is just twice the short leg. So here the A is going to be equal to 2 times 11 over 2. And when we multiply that, 2 times 11 is 22. And 22 divided by 2 is 11. So here, the A value, the hypotenuse, must be 11. 11 over 2 times 2 makes 11. Now let's find the length of the long leg. Remember that the long leg is equal to the short leg times the square root of 3. So here, B is equal to 11 over 2 times the square root of 3. And then you can just keep the whole denominator over 2. So you're going to pick 11 root 3 all over 2 and drag and drop that into the box on Schoology. In this next 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, it's giving us the length of the hypotenuse is 24. We need to find the short leg first, which is that leg opposite the 30 degree angle. Now remember that the hypotenuse is two times the short leg. So here the 24 has to be two times y. And if we just divide by two there, we end up with y equals 12. So our short leg is 12, and now that we have the short leg, we can find the x, the long leg. The long leg is just the short leg times the square root of 3. So here x is going to be 12 times the square root of 3. And again, you'll drag and drop that into the answer boxes there. For our final 30, 60, 90 triangle, notice how we're given the side opposite the 60 degree angle. So we're given the long leg is three root three. We wanna start by finding the short leg, which is across from my 30 degree angle. So I wanna find N first, and I can use the relationship between the long leg and the short leg. The long leg in a 30, 60, 90 is just the short leg times the square root of three. So here, 13 root 3 has to be equal to n root 3. And now to get the n by itself, we just divide each side by root 3. And notice on this side, root 3 over root 3, I can just cancel out so that n equals 13. And now we have our short leg. So n is 13, put that in the n box. Now that I know that n, my short leg, is 13, I can now find my hypotenuse because the hypotenuse is just 2 times the short leg. So here, the hypotenuse m must be 2 times 13, which means m equals 26.